Hi Scorpio, I'm Susie from The Gift Tour 2 and I'm going to read your card for the week of the 21st, the summer solstice of June, the 21st of June for Scorpio. Let's ask the angels, universe, spirit guides for Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. The week of the 21st of June for Scorpio. Week of the 21st of June for Scorpio. Well, you've got two pages for your first two cards. Week of the 21st of June. Of three pages. Week of the 21st of June for Scorpio. Very young energy, childish energy. And then the Hermit. Oof, 21st of June for Scorpio. I think Virgo got those two cards together. You've got the Hermit and the Ten of Swords. 21st of June. The week of the 21st of June for Scorpio. Angels, spirit guides. The week of the 21st of June for Scorpio, please. Okay, we have two pages, page of swords, since he knows it all, Gemini, blowing hot air, gossiping, page of, of wands, wants a message to jump into the unknown, a new message to go on off and do a new quest, um, it's like someone's spying, this is a hindrance in any undertaking, possibly a spy. Gemini, someone's blowing hot air saying, I know everything. And you maybe you want to get away from that gossip or away from these people that are acting childish. Um, it could be you and it's a warning not to gossip. Um, because what's going to happen very soon, whatever's been said and done, maybe within the workplace of a passionate area, you know, or you're about to get a job and there's someone there that's blowing hot air. Um, it's going to be revealed in the way that th this is judgment. This is the, all the mummies are coming out the closet. Everything's coming out the closet, all the secrets, everything. So you, everything can heal. So it's going to go in your favor. If someone's been spreading gospel about for you, it's going to go in your favor, but it's going to take some time to heal from this. With this page of cups, this Pisces element, it's, it means be narcissus. Look at yourself in the mirror. Say, I love you, and I'm going to drink water today, and then I'm going to go and have a salad for tea, and I'm going to take a walk, you know, because you need to heal from this ending of this relationship. I feel that there's there's been gossip, there's been things are coming out of the closet, secrets, and to be judged, nobody's perfect, but you're working on yourself now. These It's like three little messages that don't mean much. Uh, it could be a love message from someone that you're healing from. Because um, there was a threesome situation, maybe. And you're just going to hermit up on your own. I just want to follow my path. Even though you might feel stabbed in the back from this gossip. Or these people. You're right, starting to rise like the phoenix. But it's, you need to get out of this prison first. Um, there's this king of cups here. Who may come in and tell you they love you. Scorpio but that's your element it's you loving yourself really if someone comes in to say that it's like great but I really love myself at this moment I'm going to honor myself because I've just been through the ringer okay death upside down you may still feel stagnant in this situation you might not want to leave it um the king of cups can come as a counselor and get you out of this ten of swords so it might be someone that says look I've got I've got you on this, and he's very um I want to say sensual. You've got the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. Um he's coming in with love, real love. And you might play a guitar or something. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but this could be you. You you're in kind of a limbo this week, um, even though you're offered this love. Uh, the guards down, you might have come down off a platform, but you're about to be raised in victory and have accolade for, for for your achievements so it's like down up it's 
this king of cups comes in and he speaks his truth and his love and he's honoring his heart and um it leaves you a bit stuck but you might think maybe i've i need to humble myself a little bit and you get victory you get victory at the end of this week scorpio you know you're following your light you're following light at the end of the tunnel you're done with this childish behavior you're starting to work on yourself because some you're you're going to heal you're healing your heart things have come out of the closet it wasn't pleasant but nobody's perfect you see so you're just following your light it might feel that you you're imprisoned or people are talking about you and you're a bit depressed and this justice is here saying stop with the witches or the mind games is overwhelming the king of cups comes in to offer a piece of music a poem you know that's what the queen, the king of cups does it, and it's it's your element so it, you you either totally get yourself out of this or someone comes in and shows you some love and even though you're not completely healed you're still a bit in limbo you're not transformed yet maybe these people took you down off your platform but it's going to be seconds before you get back up on it it's like a new a new achievement but you might need to come down to be loving to get to get it at the end of this week it's like just right at the end of the week it's like yes i did it and everyone's going applauding you so scorpio don't worry and and, and also death is a scorpio card as well so you're feeling loving as in emotionally but in yourself you're not quite there because you've been knocked off your pedestal you see but it's not for long at all it's like next day delivery one minute it's not there next day it's there you have the fleece you have the golden holy grail which is how look you won angels spirit guides what would you like scorpio to know it's like you follow your heart i can't take all those Give me three cards for Scorpio for the week of the 21st of June for Scorpio, please. Go let's angel cards. Angels, cards. So I'll take that one first. So we've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Like I said, no one's perfect. You're still not ending this thing. It's just that you need to take back control of you and your heart and follow the light at the end of the tunnel. Focus with that hermit. You've got wisdom. You're not in this. If you want to be childish, fine. You've got three pages here. Three kids. They could be male or female. They're, they're underage. It's like it's it, one of them says, I know best. One of them says, um, quick, let's go. Let's just do it. And the other one says, oh, I, I, I've I, just seen my reflection in the mirror. It's like just discovering yourself. So it means you need to fall in love with yourself. Um, because there's this ending, it could have been a third party, but you just want to hermit up after this. You just don't, you want to, it's not nice because it's there. But love comes in with the King of Cups, whether that's you or someone else. You're a, You're a little bit wounded. And off your platform it could be a work situation, but you might get a brand new job at the end of this. But it says, give your relationship a chance. This could be the one. So let's ask the angels what they would like. See, that's why it's not ending. It's just that you've just come off a pedestal. Maybe there was a lot of ego, ego that needed things need to be out, in the, out of the closet to be healed. Angels, spirit guides. And it's almost like once you concentrate on that hermit, that light at the end of the tunnel... You start to rise and people start to want to see what you can do. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. I am the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. And see only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So, get the wisdom of the Virgo. Get everything in line. Start to rise. Listen to your heart. There's love here. 
it's not over. It's just that you might have been knocked off a pedestal, but you're about to be put straight back on it with with the support of other people. Here they're not supporting you. They want what you've got and they've achieved like making you feel like shit. But here there is actual people around you that are supporting you. Maybe it's just a case of getting rid of those that childish influence and, and going with the older, wiser you. Anyway, hope I've helped you, Squilco. Um, take care of yourself and please like, share and subscribe. If you want a reading with me, it's Sue's. No, it's not. What? I don't even know. Uh, it's the gift 202 cs at gmail.com and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.